over 33 billion tons of candy is eaten every year on Valentine's Day. Well, okay, I just kind of made that figure up. But we do buy a lot of candy on Valentine's Day. And what do they come in? These cheap cardboard and plastic boxes. So I was thinking it would be more special if you actually made something for your Valentine and included candy. Yeah, a wood heart-shaped candy box. I made my box using a technique called bent lamination to create these curves. It's a technique I've never tried before, but it's surprisingly easy. Mostly what I wanted this box to be is very lightweight. So my first thought about making this was to make some sort of a modified bandsaw box, but that posed some problems. Uh, probably the main problem that I foresaw was trying to get the walls, these sides, at an equal thickness throughout the entire heart. I wanted it to be smooth, and I knew trying to cut them that narrow on the bandsaw, it probably would have wavered in, well, it would have been a lot of sanding, too, to smooth it out. I've taken some one and an eighth inch thick poplar, and I've ripped them down into strips that are about an eighth of an inch thick but I want to try to plane these down even thinner. I've cut out a sheet of MDF to use as a sled to run these through my planer, and now I'm just going to put some carpet tape on it. And now I'll just press these strips right onto that tape. Well, this is going to be interesting to see if I can peel these off of here without breaking them. I've planed them down to, oh my gosh, it must be like a 64th of an inch thick or so. So they're really thin. But I think for one thing, I didn't need to put so many strips of tape on there. I think maybe three strips probably would have been enough to hold these, but they're coming off. Well, there's what I've got. That's, I think, about as thin as I can go. <laughs> I'm going to use this board and put some dowels in it. So here's the shape that I've come up with with these pegs. And so the idea here is I think I can carefully bend this wood around and through like that. Something like that. I'll have to fuss with it a little bit. I might need to move that one. But anyways, that's half of the heart. So I think if I get that glued up and then do another one of those and then figure out a way of gluing them both together. Now I've put some wax paper down here and I've wrapped each of these dowels with some packing tape and you know, hopefully that the glue won't stick to anything. I'm gonna apply glue on two of these strips and uh, put the third one sandwiched in between them. So I've got these sort of sandwiched together. I'm gonna see if I can do this without breaking any of them. <laughs> see what happens. What I've done is I've just grabbed every small clamp I have and have tried to clamp pretty much all the way around that and I don't know. Well, we'll see if it works out. <laughs> so it's been a couple of hours now and let's see if this is going to hold together <laughs> or not. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. So, well, I guess now I need to do another one and join them together. You know, I'm trying to put these clamps in here uh, basically right next to each other so every surface of that uh, curve is glued up. Well, I've got them both glued up. They look like a couple of question marks right now. <laughs> But the idea here is that now I think I'm going to glue these together. I made these really long so that I should have plenty of gluing surface. And so let me just clamp these together to show you what I think this is going to look like. I'll probably glue this all together and then I'll cut it off up here somewhere. I don't want all of that there. And then these pieces here, this side, will also be something like that. Well, that held together pretty well. I let this dry overnight to make sure I had a good bond on it. So I've got a piece of eighth inch plywood, real thin plywood, and I'm gonna try to cut it out to make the backing for this. 
So I'm going to cut this on the bandsaw and leave it a little bit larger and then sand it down to the exact shape after I've glued it on. Now I'm just going to see if I can glue it together. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just put a board across this and put some weights on it to clamp it down. It's a little tricky. I just want to make sure that it's touching every part of that back piece. All right, well, that worked out pretty well. Uh, it's really nice and light. I like that. So I just need to sand all of this down and then figure out what I'm going to do about the lid. I've been trying to figure out a way to make a lid for the box. I'd like for one that, you know, stays in there and just doesn't slide off. So I thought about, you know, making a rabbit around the lid and obviously on eighth inch thick plywood, I can't really make a rabbit for that. So what I can do is I can stack up one piece of plywood on another like that to create the rabbit. The problem there is that I needed to, cur uh, to cut out this inside shape, which if I had thought this through ahead of time, I would have been able to do that before I added the back on here. It would have been very easy for me to trace that out. So instead, what I did is I just took this piece and set it right down on top of my scanner and, well, I just scanned it at 100% and printed out that shape. So I was able to cut this out on the bandsaw. Now that's the inside shape that, you know, right now I'm just kind of tweaking it and sanding it to get it down to fit in there pretty snugly. And I'll glue that shape down onto a larger piece of plywood. And that's what's going to hold, that is going to be the lid, and so this will fit on there like that. So now I can just trace this outline. That's what it looks like all cut out and I've sanded it down. I've got a little bit of a lip there that I can grab a hold of and it's got a nice snug fit. It's not coming apart, but if I pull it off like that, there's the bottom. And there's my completed candy box. I took the time to paint a simple design on it and I spray lacquered it to finish it. This project is a perfect example of why I enjoy woodworking so much because it's a craft that never gets old, it always remains challenging, and we can always learn new techniques such as the bent lamination, which I'd never done before, and after I've done this, I can kind of start to think about all sorts of other projects that I might be able to use that on. So anyways, thanks for watching, and have a happy Valentine's Day!